Okay, this is Blues Lick number one. This one is pretty, um, pretty common, um, but you can take it and, and do a lot of things with it. So I wanted to start really basic for this for this uh, lick series here. Um, I've, when I've taught students that don't are uh, fairly new to guitar, um, it's actually fairly difficult for them. So I just wanted to explain that. The, rick, the lift, lick that I just did was um, basically inside of an A minor pentatonic scale. Um, so if we were doing something like... So what we've got here is... First note is bent up on the seventh fret, third string. You bend it up a whole step, so it's supposed to match the ninth fret. Now, when I bend, I use other fingers behind this third finger. So I'm not just trying to bend it, you know, with with one finger like this. So you've got the second finger behind it, even sometimes the third finger. I mean, the first finger. So all three. Help. And then your thumbs up here um, to oppose that force. So you bend that up, and then you hit the fifth fret on the second string. So those two notes are the same when you bend it up. And then fifth fret on the first string. So I kind of use a bar, which is when your finger is flat over two different strings, two or more strings, but in this case. And then when I bend the next note on the eighth fret of the second string, and vibrato. I have a, a lesson on vibrato. You want to check that out, and even bending as well. So basically, this is bent up to that note, and this. So there's really only two different notes that you're playing in this whole lick. So if we're in the key of E, up on the 12th fret, you can use that same lick. Um, what I also like to get you guys to do is learn how to use that lick and modify it for your own purposes. So obviously in a blues so you, you want to repeat the lick as a as your phrasing, you want to repeat that as some of your development, but you can also take just a part of it, a fragment of that lick. Um, play it backwards. There I went up, I bent the note and played the... So I just mixed the, the order of the notes. And then, you know, after you play the lick... You can add another idea. So you start to modify that basic uh, idea. So it's not just about repeating licks, as I mentioned. Um, you want to be able to understand it. All you've got is an E and, a, and an A, which are part of the, um, the A, A7 chord. A couple of chord tones. So I'll be showing some other licks uh, you can start to use for blues and combining them and uh, make sure you understand them and try playing around with them and modifying them. All right, enjoy those. <laughs>